Hello guys, welcome to my channel T something and in this video tutorial I will gonna show you how to fix a uh, Windows 11 or a 10 Microsoft uh, error code 0xA03F800A so how can fix this type of error let's get started before starting of the video I humbly request you please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so let's see start it okay guys the first method is that first of all going to your settings of your windows go to your troubleshoot click on other troubleshooters and after in this test code out and run the windows store app click on run close it i hope your problem is fixed but if your problem is still then you can try a next method the next method is that in the search box type a ws reset I press OK. Now after I close it. I hope your problem is fixed, but if your problem is still, then you can try our next method. The next method is that open a Microsoft Store. Click this sign out. If you are already signing, then sign out and once again sign in your account. Now you can see there sign in your account. After that, close it. I hope your problem is fixed. But if your problem is still, then you can try our next method. The next method is that go to your start menu, go to your settings of your windows, go to your apps, click on apps and features. And in this list, type a store. Now, Microsoft Store, click on these three stores, go to your advanced options. Scroll down, click on repair. After that, click on Reset. And close it. I hope your problem is fixed. But if your problem is still, then you can try a next method. The next method is that in the search box, type a CMD, uh, sorry, uh, type a PowerShell. Open Windows PowerShell, right click run as administrator. And after doing this step, copy the first command from video description. And paste it and press enter. After doing this step, once again go to your video description and copy the second command from video description and copy it. And paste and press enter. After that, type exit and exit the PowerShell. Sorry. Go it. Copy the second command. Edit, paste and press enter. After that, close the PowerShell and restart your computer. And I'm sure that after restarting your computer, your problem is fixed. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel.